Well guys, uh, due to my recent experimentation with um, explosives, I've uh, had a bit of a failure, of course. Um, you guys probably won't see the video on that. Well, I have blown a hole in my neighbor's fence. So, of course, um, the uh, right thing to do would be to patch it. No, no, just kidding. It wasn't explosive, so I'm not that uh, talented. So, of course, um, as many of you guys uh, probably have seen by now, is the tray removal video. I'm hoping the uh, footage turned out. Um, as you see here, we have chunks of the old maple tree sitting here on the ground. And, of course, the tree was growing up uh, between the uh, fence there, kind of right about where that hole is. Now, in order to successfully remove the tree, uh, we had to cut the fence. Of course, one, to make sure the tree safely fell where we wanted it to fell. And uh, two, to get his great big equipment in there to get the stump out of there. Which, of course, uh, leaves us with the um, task now of patching the right side of the fence to the left side of the fence. So, of course, given the age of the fence and um, condition the remainder of the fence is in, um, I'm not going to do a 100% restore job on it because, well, as you can tell there, she's leaning uh, right there. And basically the only thing keeping it from falling over up here is the neighbor's sheds. And no, this is not my fence. This is their fence. As you can tell, um, it matches the one on the back of their property way down there. So, um... I feel it's the right thing to do, being it was my tree removal that uh, uh, cut a hole in their fence to uh, fix it for them. So I'll probably start, the um, biggest challenge I'm going to have right here is joining the uh, right side here with the left side. Because the left side is about uh, 4 to 6 inches higher uh, than the right side. I'm assuming due to a tree root probably pushing up on the bottom of the post. So what I'll probably start by doing is, um, you know, clearing away the ground there to find out where the, the ground itself is. And um, probably attaching me a 2 by 4 between the bottom of that one and, you know, the bottom of the left one there. And same with the top one. It's going to be kind of a clobber together uh, mess, but... Uh, when you're dealing with mess, you kind of end up building a mess. So, well... Um, We'll have to get it get that going and see how she goes okay guys so this is kind of what I've come up with as you see here um, pretty much what I've done is I've laid a 2x4 underneath of the top rail um, pretty much I'm going to put some screws or nails or glue or duct tape or whatever's to hold it together and uh, you know do that with all four um, areas there now, the way I figure is I should be able to swing that section of fence, just like a door hinge, um, back into place, which the, um, the top rail should be able to um, meet up with here, and the bottom rail should be able to sit on there. Now, one thing I notice on here is there's a 2x4 joiner there where two pieces of 2x4 were patched together between the posts. So I'll probably have to pry that off because that'll interfere with the uh, because that'll interfere with the top rail here. But other than that, that's pretty good. Going to be short some fence boards, but um, I bought extra the other day when I was down there, so we should be good to roll. Okay, guys. So I wasn't able to do it the uh, easy way that I wanted to. Um, I figured I'd be able to lift the fence section back into place pretty much drop it in nail it down add a couple of new boards well um, I should have known better but whatever so I ended up having to take off the bottom uh, board on the fence uh, using the top board as a guide just dropping it on in now of course these fence boards are dry and old and brittle so I ended up breaking a couple so I'm hoping that I have enough in my uh, stash to get um, get done what I need to get done I've still got a couple over here, well two anyway, of the original ones that I can use as templates to uh, make the new pickets. Um, probably have to add an inch or so at the bottom due to uh, the fact that, you know, through rot and stuff. 
looks like they have a uh, a 45 or so at the top to make the V and uh, you know kind of kind of go from there I'll pry those boards off the original fence take them over to the saw and uh, start cutting the uh, pickets well guys there you go she's all done fence is up yeah I know it's crooked and I know it's kind of a uh, whatever you want to call her job but uh, that's kind of the way she is one it matches the rest of the fence and uh, two it's really 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 hard to work with uh, something that's crooked and rotten and uh, you know if it was a brand new fence something that was only three or four years old a guy would have used brand new material all the way across and even went as far as painting it or staining it or um, whatever but that's kind of the way she is you're dealing with uh, a fence that's probably a minimum of uh, 20 years old and uh, she's probably um, well <laughs> now the tree's gone she's probably only got maybe a year, year a year or so left before it ends up on the ground now of course if it was my fence it would have been replaced well it would be on the list to be replaced uh, soon but she's the neighbor's fence and um, just out of uh, you know being just out of being uh, nice because of my tree being uh, growing up in the middle of it I decided to replace you know and fix the hole but like I said she's by no means no uh, award-winning uh, show quality job or or whatever but uh, she's good enough considering the material and the fence she's going into but guys, this has been just a little quick little uh, patching hole and fence due to tree removal job video. And yeah, so as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.